but the fathers of the council proclaim you as Son of God, born from the Father and the Holy Spirit. Arius fell into the abyss of sin, pretending blindness that he might not see the light. By his purpose he became the image of Judas. But the council of Nicaea proclaimed you as Son of God, co enthroned with the Father and the Holy Spirit. The foolish Arius blasphemed the all holy Trinity. Dividing the persons into three different unequal substances, but the God bearing fathers denounced his confusion. They assembled with the zeal of Elijah, destroying error with the sword of the Spirit, as they were directed by the inspiration of God. Glory to the Father and to the Son the Holy Spirit. Today, let us praise the mystical trumpets of the Spirit, the God-bearing Fathers, who stand in the midst of the Church, singing true theology, praising the changeless Trinity. They lay low the errors of merits and upheld the Orthodox faith. They always entreat the Lord to have mercy on our souls. Who will not bless you, O most holy virgin? Who will not sing of your most pure star, Mary? The only begotten Son, shone timelessly from the Father. But from you he was ineffably incarnate. God by nature, he became man for our sake. Not divided into two persons, but manifest as one in two natures. Entreat him, O pure, all blessed lady, to have mercy on our souls. Wisdom, arise, O joyous light of the holy glory of the immortal, heavenly, holy, blessed Father, O Jesus Christ. Now that we have come to the setting of the sun, and behold the light of the evening, we praise God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, for He it is and all us to worship Thee with voices of praise, O Son of God and Giver of life, wherefore all the world. The glory by thee. Let us be attentive. Peace be to all. Wisdom, let us be attentive. The Lord reigns, he is clothed in majesty. The Lord reigns, he is clothed in majesty. Salem brought up bread and wine 
He was the priest of God Most High. And he blessed him and said, Blessed be Abram of God Most High, possessor of heaven and earth. And blessed be God Most High, who has delivered your enemies into your hand. And he gave him a tithe of all. Wisdom. Let us be attentive. Let us say with our soul, with all our mind, let us say. Lord, have mercy. O oh, Lord, Almighty God of our fathers, we pray to our and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O oh God, according to great mercy, we pray to our and have mercy. Again, we ask your great mercy on our brothers and sisters 
who are presently involved in conflict, removed from their midst all hostility, confusion, hatred, lead everyone along the path of reconciliation and peace. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all honorable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await from you great and rich mercy. For you are a merciful God, the lover of humankind, and the deed and receive that glory to the Father, to the Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. God save, O Lord, to keep us and see thee without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praise and glorify thy name forever. Amen. Let thy mercy be upon us, O Lord, even as we have served our body. Blessed art thou, O Lord, each in thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Master, make you to understand thy statutes. Blessed art thou, Holy One, enlighten you with thy statutes. Thy mercy, O Lord, endure forever. For as far as not the works of thy hands, to thee belong to worship, to thee belong to praise, to thee belong to glory, to the Father, and to the Son, of Holy Spirit, now and ever. Let us complete our evening prayer to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Let this holy evening be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, and it's task of the Lord. Lord have mercy. Grant this, O oh Lord, for an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord. For the poor remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. For everything that is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. For our Christian union for our lives, painless, blameless, and peaceful. And a good defense before the judge of the seat of Christ. Let us ask of the Lord. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, and most blessed Lord, the day of the Holy Spirit, the Virgin Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. For thou art a good God, and a lover of humankind, and the need of sin of glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all. Bow your head to the Lord. O oh Lord. Oh Lord our God, who has bowed the heavens to come down to the salvation of the human race, look upon your servants and your inheritance. For to you, the dread judge, who loved humankind, and your servants bowed their heads and submissively inclined their necks awaiting not help from men but your mercy in expectation of your salvation whom do you protect at all times both during the present evening and in the approaching night from every adverse action of the devil from vain thoughts and evil imaginations blessed and most glorified be the majesty of your kingdom of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit now and ever and to the ages of ages your resurrection of Christ our Savior, the angels in heaven sing, enable us on earth to glorify you in purity of heart. Destroying the gates of hell, breaking the chains of death, you resurrected the fallen human race as Almighty God. O Lord, who rose from the dead, glory to you. Desiring to return us to paradise, Christ was nailed to the cross and placed in a tomb. The Berberian women saw the new tears crying. Woe to us, O Savior, how do you deign to descend to death? What place can hold your life-bearing body? Come to us in his province, 
take away our pain and the tears, then he will appear to them. Stop your lamentations. Go proclaim to the apostles, the Lord is risen, granting purification with good of the sea. Having been crucified as you will, by your burial you captured death, O Christ, and rose on the third day as I glory, granting the world and the new life a great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Today we celebrate the annual memory of the God bearing fathers who assembled in Nicaea. They laid low the godless doctrines of Arius, driving him from the unity of the Catholic Church, and teaching us how to confess the consubstantial and co-eternal Son of God. They expressed this feeling the symbol of faith, and we followed in our doctrines, believing in and serving the Son with the Father and the Holy Spirit the consubstantial trinity and one divinity. Now and ever and after ages of ages, amen. Fulfilling, O Lord, in your goodness, the mystery hidden from ages and generations, you came with your disciples to the Mount of Olives, together with the Mother who bore you, the Maker and Creator of all. For it was fitting that she who, as a mother, had been grieved beyond all as your passion, should also be filled with exceeding joy at the glory of your flesh. In this joy we also partake in cure and send into heaven, O Master, and we glorify your great mercy that has come upon us. Lord, now let thou thy servants be far in peace, according to thy words, for my eyes have seen thy salvation, which does prepare before the face of all peoples, alike to enlighten the Gentiles, and the glory of thy people is Christ.
joy to your disciples by the promise of the Holy Spirit. Through the blessed day, we're assured that you are the Son of God, the Redeemer of the world. Wisdom, blessed is he who is Christ our God always, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Most holy Mother of God, save us. Our God, have mercy on us. 